Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at NVIDIA, AMD, Tesla, and MU. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's 30 bucks a month, or click down here in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We've been doing live sessions. Come by, check us out. If you like what you see, sign up, guys. All right, NVIDIA, daily chart, $8.20 up. Uh, 14 cents down after hours, 14 million on the day, 6.41% in the green. Still in this lower range, guys. Still trying to hold this uh, 133.31. This is the area last week we were watching as well. It did get above it, but still down sideways, weak position. 200 MA on top now in a slight uh, downtrend. A little bit, you know, you made the high, the lower high, etc., stuff like that. But you're trying to find a base to possibly move higher, okay? If the markets come in, the IWM, the SPY, the Qs, if they start to sell, this will start to sell as well. Everything is a market trade. Markets up, this one up. Market down, this one down. Pretty simple. Until earnings come on all these four stocks that we're looking at today, it's a 50-50 shot going into earnings, guys. Will these go up or will these stall out to see if earnings make some pop? We're going to see, guys. And uh, next couple weeks, they're all going to be pumping out. So <laughs> weekly chart. I mean, volume was okay on this one today, but weekly chart, we keep talking about the 119.18 area, which is the 200 MA. Eventually, it's going to kiss this. Does it kiss it and then send it up? Or was it, will this thing consolidate sideways? And then, uh, you know, just base, 20 MA curls into price and sends this thing lower. If this goes lower from here and the markets start to sell, 100 easily, guys. I, at this point, the markets start to dump. I think we're going to 67 bucks on this one. Just to let you know, you know, all the bulls, they got everybody on board, guys. I was telling everyone, take profits, take profits. And everyone, book you said at 200 to take profits. Well, then, you know, 250, two, take profits. And now we're at 136, guys. Did anyone see this coming? Hell no. I was kept saying, though, weekly chart, 200 MA will be the target eventually, whenever that might be. Here we are. So, um, yeah, if we go blast through this area, we're definitely going to 100. And if, if the markets are giving it up, we're definitely going lower. So just be careful with any of these names or anything right now in the markets, guys. 700 up, 600 down yesterday. Rational markets right now. Small positions or nothing. If you can't handle any risk or any losses right now, then sit on your hands and then watch these markets play out. Um, NVIDIA, though, guys, let's see how it sets up in the next couple of weeks. If we hold this area then you're looking for 146.75 150 area let's say to 155 160 and then the big one is this pivot here right around the 175 you get above that then maybe higher prices you know one day at a time for us it's one week at a time okay let's go back to the daily real quick on this one yeah it's still weak though down sideways but it still recaptured this low here which was okay got to get above the 20 and make a run it starts getting above like i said the 150 then we'll see what happens next big area will be the 170 if it, if it could get there it's like 150 155 160 etc and you got a big gap fill around 170 so on the daily so and then uh let's see i guess we could put a short-term retrace yeah so big yeah big area is 150 we get above 150 then uh, we'll see where this thing can go AMD had a couple members today ask me can we short this thing can we short this thing it's like well let's see here you know I'm looking at this trend line guys so we got below it it was looking pretty ugly I was like whoa here we go so I'm gonna connect that one right about there oh uh, this is the weekly or the daily chart though so AMD daily chart dollar 95 up on the day 111 million shares traded 11.44 percent green on the day so yesterday's downside pretty much wiped out straight back up on AMD unbelievable action in these markets yesterday guys I saw this candle here on all the charts I was like oh it, it's got to go right back up if it does not it's gonna go right to here and start flushing out and you know what guys they saved it they know if this if these key areas break on this on the Nvidia the you know the 118 area oh um, we're in trouble let's let's put it that way so we're retracing up on AMD guys we're starting to get back to this trend line here we're looking at the 50 MA at the, about the 20 I'm gonna say the $20 area guys if this thing can claw its way up through there if it can then possible higher prices then we're gonna look for a bigger retrace and we're gonna short this thing 
So those are the areas we're looking for. If it goes up here, it's a dead on short. But we're going to have to see how these markets balance out. And we're going into earnings, like I said. Anything can happen at this point, guys. Do they rally it into earnings? Or all of a sudden, another, you know, Apple comes out with some more bad news. Or Amazon comes out with some bad news. Oh, we're going to miss and this and that. And then we start tanking again. So a lot of news going on. China trade, stuff like that. Right now, again, small positions. I keep telling my members this. Small, small positions right now are nothing at all. But a good retrace. We did get back above the 220. First step of the process is going up we did have calls on this one we pulled them off we weren't gonna we made a little bit and we just pulled it off and said you know what we're done yeah and then on to the next trade guys so uh that's what we're looking for in this one still down still sideways still down still sideways basin in this big bearish base so we're gonna see what this uh gives us in the next uh couple of weeks or at least going into earnings guys some of the big ones going off you look at the weekly even uglier I mean, this thing barely got above the 250 retrace, but still had a nice push up, guys. Still inside this bar, though. Big area, like I said, would be around 20 bucks. We get above that, that's going to be 21. Probably, you know, pretty much 22, 23, and then the big, big area would be about 25, 59, or this red bar. But we've been consolidating in this red bar for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 weeks. 10 weeks, guys, holding the 50. Remember where the target is, though. 200 MA on the weekly. It's coming, guys. I don't know when, but if this pattern starts to play out, we're going to knock through this and just keep knocking through all of them until we get to here. Then I might be a buyer there. Um, if it goes lower, you know, I, I've i been saying 6 bucks for a long time. I love this area right here, around 681. And, th and this little pivot here, around 9 bucks. I mean, I, you know, around, yeah, about the 9 bucks. That's not bad either. But if we start rolling and the markets start rumbling, you're looking at 6 down in this area. Then I'll be a buyer. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all you AMD bulls. Yeah, I mean, this, this this little pop here was a bunch of crap. They brought it right back down. Inside bar bearish pattern on the weekly. Markets start to give it up. This thing's going to tank. Bay or bulls, you, you've got to start going here. you got to get above this pivot, this high pivot around 24, and then this high pivot at 26. If you cannot get, a, get out of this range... I mean, we might go up and down three, four bucks. We caught this short here for a couple. If it goes back up, we'll short again. We were long calls. Made about, uh, I think, 60% in them. And we're out. Done. I'm done with these. We shorted here. Bought calls down here. All right. A little less risk. Boom. We made the money and get the hell out. They did They did go up. They probably were up 100% today. But you know what? I got my 60%, guys, and I'm done. I'm out of this trade. Tesla. Tesla, the greatest trading stock ever, guys. This thing was going up here. We were adding shorts. Daily chart, $17 up today. 7 million shares traded. 5.77% uh, in the in the green. Um, we're holding this, though. Came right back in, guys, and we're holding this, so that's not bad. So we got to watch this. As long as it's holding this 295 area, we should be all right. Short-term retrace, we're back above the seven, or five, 250 retrace. And... Uh, the gap fill too we closed above so this this one's not looking bad at this point would love to get back up into here even to the 350 area then we might start getting interested in this remember guys though earnings coming up so anything's possible with this one i mean it's a, it's a cold stock so if the markets keep grinding this will keep grinding markets fall apart this one's going down i still think 250 is the area so right now in the bigger range of the retraces we're right there in the 50 percent it could go up could go down for Tesla but it are we are trying to get back above support all right so this is another one but this is another one guys we bought call, uh, calls we bought them at 480 and on the 20 uh, 1021 we added a little bit more on the 24th when we were tanking our average price was 480 on them we got out at 1030 so those were some nice options too and of course they're up now you know I don't even know what they're they're probably at 20 bucks right now with this move today but you know what? We took the 100% on those and said, thank you. On to the next trade. We're not messing around here. So we had shorts. Boom, we covered. Went long, and we went long. Another couple trades that were good, guys. We actually had one loser on Tesla this year, guys. 15 trades, one loser. And we had to cut it. And those were December 28th calls. You know, I, I'm honest. Everything's out there, guys. You know, if you're a member, you, you know the trades. But yeah, and we just just um yeah, and and we were in, at the, we were yeah, we were in calls and it just wouldn't go up and then it just tanked and it was like when the market's tanked it was like, "Ugh." But we bought the calls at $122 a piece. We took minimum risk on that trade. 
and then they they were pretty much washed <laughs> they were that was it good night yeah when we tanked that was it so but we had short shares and we tried december 28th didn't get it we did the december um no, we did the january uh 18th and that's when we got the 100 percent so for that uh, four dollar and eighty eighty cent trade or four hundred and eighty dollar trade we sold them at a grand the hundred and twenty two dollar trade didn't mean shit excuse my language but but yeah that's what we're doing here all my members got those trades guys and then we've been killing it we've been in calls just just killing it so tesla guys i don't care up or down i'm trading this one i love it so it's above 330 340 area then you probably have a great chance of this thing testing these highs again you know if we, if we get it filled this gap and get above that pivot if we cannot get up here not even close if we stall down and, and stall around down in here we are setting up for lower prices 20 of may we're we'll start curling in the price and then sending this thing down but earnings still coming up anything's possible but uh 50 50 shot it bounces if it goes up we're shortened if it goes down then we will we'll be looking for bounce areas yeah, it's crazy. Markets are nuts right now, guys. Weekly chart. Weekly chart, pretty much the same story. This is why we took the calls, because of, of great support, but then they flushed us out. But then we got into January 18th. Boom, right back in the money. And made more money. So that trade we took at loss on Tesla, the other one pff, tore it apart, guys. And that's that's how we trade here. Small, you know, small risks, keep trading. If we have 20 winners and five losers, so be it. Five winners counter those five losers, boom, we're winning. So uh, this one, holding support, weekly chart, doing okay. But remember, down sideways. Still holding, though. Still holding this area, but still down sideways in this channel. It's going to be revisiting this eventually, guys. And then again, if the markets are weak and everything's breaking down, this thing's going a lot lower. Markets are strong, this thing will have some trouble right back in the same area again, 390. Now it just gets up there and that's it. It's been one, two, three, four, five times in this area. I think I, you know, five times trying to get up, guys. It's getting tired. It's going to take the the path of least resistance eventually, and and that's going to be down. Then this area here, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. That gives out. It's lights out, guys. Going to 180, 180. Then we're going to fill this big gap right here at 151. Okay. We even if we go up, I don't care. Markets 10-year bull rally, guys. It's almost done. So, anyways, but we trade this thing. We love to trade the stock. And, uh, and you know, just uh, keep trading, guys. That's what we do here at StockBookie.com. Weekly chart, though, right here. Um, everything's all right. Let's see what it gives us next week. Then MU. MU, daily chart. We were a buck seventy up. Uh, 28 million on the day. And 5.48% uh, in the green. It's just unbelievable what these stocks are doing right now, guys. It, it, just, it just blows me away. But uh, we had call, we took a spec play on this one on earnings, lost that. It was $127. But we came back with um, MU calls. We took those on the 19th. We added some on the 24th. We're big believers in adding a little bit sometimes, guys. These are markets where not too many people are going to hit that one bounce. It bounces up and get paid. you got to be slow and steady and patient in these markets, and you might have to add a little bit more. So at the end of the day, you still have to know your risk. You know, we got in right about 157 on these options. That was our average price. We got out at uh, 234. So this trade wasn't good, but today, today they they did okay as well. But we pulled them off the other day as much as we could get from them, and that's it. But we were short MU. We went long MU. I don't care. We just took the money and ran on these. Because now we're coming into resistance, coming up here, daily chart, still trying to, you know, still in this lower range here, trying to chug. I mean, this is a little micro bullish pattern, trying to get above the 20. Uh, market's going to have to continue higher for this to continue higher. That's about the bottom line. Um, still in a weak stance, still below the MAs, still fighting. God, and they, all these names, guys, are weak. You know, 5.48%. Pretty good day, though, today. Weekly chart for MU. Savings grace, why we took the trade? Because of the 200 MA. We're just getting short-term bounces, though, guys. We get short-term bounces, probably led to more selling. If we do, then we're definitely going to this 27 uh, area. And then on this one, man, there's a gap fill around 17, and then honestly, around 12 bucks. When it's all said and done. <laughs> I know you guys think I'm nuts, but man, actually 16. We'll play 16. I still like love that trend line there. But, you know, just like this, straight up, straight down, straight up. I wouldn't doubt it retraces right back down in here. And still keeps the trend in there, though. Still move higher. But, man, just uh, 
We'll have to see where this one goes to. Let me pull this one down just to see. I want to put do the bigger fib from the bigger. Yeah, 618. So that is that's real good support there. You know, we're out of the trade, but my gosh. Um, if these areas don't hold, guys, it, it's it's going to get really ugly. You know, this was big area too here, 36, right, right through it. Stopped at the first one, bounced, chopped around a little bit, and then look at that, more selling. This is the monthly too. So, um, we're looking for another retrace. Um, this could be it. I don't know. Uh, we do have good support on the charts, though, on the weekly on MU. Um, if you are long in this one, hold it. You know, it's not doing bad. But I think what's going to happen, we're going to stall out here and then maybe pop. The only way we're going to get above if we get the gap up on the overall markets on the SPY and everything. That's what I'm kind of looking for now. They're going to they're going to have to gap this up to get this going higher. So every time they, they you know make this thing move up, there's selling pressure coming in. So it's easier for them to gap it up. And then try to you know try to push it higher like they did today on news. I guess a lot of news coming next week, so be really careful in these markets, long or short. Small positions. If you can't take risks, don't take any positions right now. We could be down a thousand on Monday. We can be up a thousand. Who knows? But just take small risks out there, guys. And uh, you know money management right now is super critical. But uh, right now all these stocks are a little bit weak. Um, Tesla's probably the strongest one out of all of them. And uh, we'll see what we get we get going on next week um, with the news. And uh, keep an eye on the SPY, the IWM. Those go up, these should grind higher. Those go down, these will most likely grind grind down with it. So, and uh, key areas too, um, you know, key double bottoms here. So right now it's really the double bottoms too, 28.47 on on MU. If it, if it can hold that, it should do all right. And you don't want it to pierce it and come in, start chopping. But man, you're like, look at this. High, lower, high. That's just, man, just a beat down on a lot of these stocks. Most, most stocks look just like this right now. So do we catch the little dead cat bounce, or do we just short-term retrace some more selling? So, All right, guys. Uh, again, become a subscriber down here on my YouTube channel if you want to come to my live sessions. Uh, you'll get the email or the uh, alert. And we've been having a lot of fun, guys, finding some trades, making money, and uh, just looking at uh, new possible trades out there, too. Uh, don't forget to like the video. And uh, or become a member at stockbookie.com. That would be great too. So, all right, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.